All right, guys, I recently changed the way I straighten hair. I now use the lock and pull method to give you the perfect tension to straighten textured hair. And this video dives in. Press play. luxury right so when we're offering a luxury service home attachment doesn't say luxury also what I've learned too since switching over to the Denman brush um, the Denman brush adds a lot more shine to the hair You want to always go back and kind of seal it once it cools to make sure that it's all dry. Because sometimes with that heat, you you can't tell that if it's dry or not. So I like to go through a couple times and feel. All right, we're at that last section here. You want. thing I did different here is I wanted a little lift there so if you kind of noticed um, I blue dried the hair with the cuticle kind of going up because I want to create some um, volume there. So I would say she is not quite dry yet. Okay that'll do it. Then I'm gonna go in with my Smooth and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. I do about one and a half pumps, emulsify it. So I believe in you emulsifying everything in your hands. And then it's all over so that when you're working through that hair as you rub, it is everywhere. So we've got her done. I'm going to twist her back up. Flip her away and work on this other front section. So same product application here. Okay, we've got a Miracle Hair Treatment Spray. It's a thicker one. So I went ahead and doubled up on the top and the bottom. Through. All right, then we're going to start the same blow dry process. All right, so we just got done blow drying her, um, and next we're going to flat iron. So I already went through and kind of flat iron the bag for you guys, um, and now I'm moving on to the side. I use the Hot Tools Professional. Um, I love it because it is a digital. Um, and it goes up to 455 degrees, which I rarely ever have to use. Um, we're going to do her at 415. The other thing that I really love is the fact that it actually beeps when it's ready. So I just put it to 415. It's going to give me the beep, and then we're going to go ahead and go in. I'm going to do about um, newspaper thin sections, maybe a little bit thicker. Um, to get that silk press. Now remember the one thing about the silk press is that the hair wants to be movable, shiny, small sections. Um, I'll show you guys a tip and trick that I add to my silk press to really give the hair the movement. Um, it's letting us know we're ready. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our paper thin section. Remember we want to make sure we clip away that hair. I'm gonna go in each time with the Make Me Shine Spray Gross by Eleven Australia. It's a very lightweight, anti-humidic shine, so it's gonna be great for any hair type. Um, I'm gonna spray it. Remember, you wanna comb through that section. 
Because the flat iron really only heats up the hair on the outside and the inside, so if there's tangles, it's really not going to get it flat iron. I'm going to one, two through that top and then bring it through all the way to the bottom. All right, we're going to keep moving up the hair. I'm going to bring Tracy down a little bit. Remember, you again, you always want to adjust your clients because they're going to be in your chair for about 45 minutes to an hour and a half. You're going to be doing this career for a long time. So I sprayed her. I'm going to go in again, put new growth, follow that comb down. Remember that two passes at the top is to make sure we get that most curly part straight. One and two, three, follow that comb on down. Re blow at the top, it kind of gets that product away or if there's any steam. Once I kind of get to the top, probably to build that eyebrow. A lot of times I will go directly up to give us some volume. I'm using, um, I love a Sambia carbon comb um, on that fine wide tooth part um, so that really detangles any of the hair. I'm gonna go in again, that one, two, and three straight through. I didn't use the comb on this section because it's pretty fine. Um, Okay, we're gonna get our last two sections. We come through it. We're gonna use our spray. Come in with the one, two, three, all the way through. Look at that nice, beautiful shine and that volume. That coming straight up 90 degrees off the head really gives you um, a lift and a curve when that hair falls. Okay, this is our last section here. We're gonna spray Tracy really good. We're gonna come in with the one, two, three, and all the way through. Sometimes you miss it. This is a long um, flat iron. The, the plates are pretty long. It's ceramic. You might wanna come all the way through. So we've got Tracy already um, flat ironed all the way through on both sides. The next step is I'm gonna go through and curl Tracy before we do our silk press um, finish. So I'm gonna, even though this section is done and straight, I still, it's not gonna hurt it to just um, clip it out of the way and then come work through back here. So you can use one of two items. You can use your flat iron to curl or you can use your one inch curling iron, one and a half, um, inch curling iron curl, depending on the texture of the hair. I use the flat iron on all of these, so I'm going to show you guys kind of how I did that. Depending on what kind of curl they're going to use or what kind of volume, that's what you can decide how you want to use the flat iron. Um, that beach wave can be for any kind of texture, so just remember um, if you're using a flat iron, you're going to get that more straight as you're coming down, um, and then same with the curling iron. So I'm gonna use about a solid two inch section. I'm gonna clip that away. I'm gonna come in with the comb. And she doesn't wanna look like Shirley Temple, so this is gonna be a solid um, one, one and a half inch section. I'm gonna comb through it. I'm gonna come with my flat iron. I like to go down with it. And then just gonna really go down and around, pull straight down. Gives me a nice curl. I'm gonna do it again right here. Down and around, straight down. Giving a little turn with my with my wrist, but that's about it. So that's the kind of curl I'm looking for. I'm gonna do it again up here. Now, if you want to create volume, it's really cool to bricklay. 
So if you wanted, if Tracy wanted like lots of volume or if you're working with a different texture and she wants to grow the hair, um, a good way to do that is bricklay. So I would maybe take a smaller section here and then this middle would fall right in between that curl and then there. So you guys kind of see those three sections. Bricklaying actually builds foundation. Um, we don't want volume, so we're not gonna do that, but that's just a tip and trick. I'm gonna go in here, curl that section again, straight down. Beautiful curl, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going all in the same direction. So we've got that. This next part above the bridal ridge, I am doing a different kind of curl um, because I am not looking for like a Shirley Temple curl. So for this one, I'm literally going to just kind of go in and make a curl. Just like that. I'm going to break this up into three right here, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to comb it. Go up, I'm not going through or straightening. I'm just literally pulling it straight up, pulling out. See that volume shine, that hold. Okay. One more. Straight up. I love this flatter because it has a beveled edge, so I don't have to do much with my wrist to get a curl. So we've got that section done. So what people don't realize, it takes about 30 minutes for a curl set. Um, we're just doing this curl for volume. So we're just gonna leave that here and then I'm gonna move over to the front section. Um, so just around, straight down. See, I'm just going straight down. I'm giving a little curl at each place that I want to curl. Do it again here, straight down and around. I'm gonna move up the head. I'm gonna do these two the same way. Put it in the two. Coming around, straight down, turning my wrist just a little bit. Coming through, same thing. Straight down and around, straight through. Okay, 